So, what is a boarding house? My name is Max Frager, Council Approval Group. What's a boarding house? Boarding house is something that we've known about for years. When I was a child, a boarding house was a place where old men went to die, basically. Now they've been lifted up. Uh, state government has brought in legislation that overrides councils and basically says you have to consider seriously proposals for boarding houses. They're generally called now, and a lot of people are calling the new age boarding houses. Um, and there are floor area limits and floor area minimums, but something like 20, 25 square metres, fully self-contained, lovely little kitchen, lovely bathroom, maybe a laundry cupboard, a little deck, close to services, everything. So they are, they're very, very well. They're, they're highly regulated um, and there's quite a bit of work in complying with the council and the state rules. Um, they shouldn't have been called boarding houses. They should have been called studio apartments. But they're still great. They really, they really fill a, a niche there. Um, I, in my later years, did a, a social science degree. I really am qualified to say these are a really, really valuable um, social housing, not social housing, but a really housing supply thing. So that's what they are. Most of them now are self-contained, um, close to services, uh, serving so many people, nurses, doctors, young doctors, um, teachers, police. They're the type of people, mainly one person to a room, but you can also, there are regulations to allow two people to the room. So we get a bit of a, a one-person, two-person mix, but they're really good. We love doing them um, and we need to do them properly.